Hey viewers, A to Z Customs here. Today we got another fun little video on this Dodge Ram 1500. This is a second gen 1997, it's a 5.9 liter. Basically the harmonic balancer has blown completely out. Now I would run the truck again for you, but you know, I really don't want to run this truck. He drove it around for a little bit with the harmonic balancer out and I'm about to show it to you makes a really, really loud racket. And so we're gonna show you how to change the harmonic balancer. It's really not that hard. Uh, it's actually not a very difficult job at all, as long as you got the right tools. There's a couple things you need, like an impact gun uh, to get that crankshaft bolt off. But besides that, I mean, we're really just pulling off the fan shroud, pulling off the fan and going to town, changing that, um, changing that harmonic balancer. And here is our blown harmonic balancer. See that? You can imagine what kind of racket that thing was making. It is completely separated. And I'll show you all the new harmonic balancer here in a bit. You know, it's got a rubber gasket in between it and it's just gone out. You know, this is also called a dampener. It basically dampens the engine noise. And when this thing goes out, woof, uh, you do not want to drive it. So we start off, we're pulling off the fan shroud. I already popped off the coolant overflow tank. It is really easy. You literally just disconnect this hose and you can see here, there's a nut, there's a nudge right here and two spaces where indents where the plastic goes in. And here's what it looks like on the actual tank. And all you do is pull back a little bit and pull up and it comes right out. Okay, so we were in the process of changing out this harmonic balancer and notice that this radiator hose was extremely loose and popping on and off. Pulled it off and you see that inside there? That is our radiator neck. It has cracked off. So unfortunately, we're now gonna have to change this radiator as well. And if y'all want to see that video, if you're doing a radiator replacement as well, by any chance, I'm going to attach, I'm going to put that at the top corner of this video. Okay, so we are down here. I didn't pull the fan off. You don't have to do that. I did, however, pull the fan shroud off and the radiator. You probably actually need to pull the fan off if you're just pulling the fan shroud. But... If you notice, you know, I, I mentioned in the earlier portion of this video that the radiator was, the radiator neck had broken, so we went ahead and pulled the radiator and got a new one. So what I'm going to do here is the first thing I'm going to do is remove these six bolts on the crank pulley, and they're just 13 millimeters. Go ahead and remove those, and then we'll remove the crank. Okay, so this is one of the reasons i absolutely love these tools they're just awesome i don't know what kind of how good this brand is power torque but it seems to be doing okay so far i had to get a new wrench because my last one uh went out so but anyways as you can see it uh pulled this bolt took care of this bolt in no time now, if you don't have an impact wrench, I would really suggest you buying one, not just for crankshaft pulleys, which is like the first time I really needed a, um, the first time I really needed an impact wrench was when I had to pull off a crankshaft pulley on another truck. And you, the, the, it's very difficult to pull off a crankshaft pulley if you don't have an impact wrench. They sell them. You can buy them at Lowe's Home Improvement, any auto parts store. I got this new one I just bought. It was only 130 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a decent impact wrench. I mean, it's probably a pretty low quality one, but I mean, it got, it got the job done. That's what I needed it for. So get that, get that uh, crankshaft bolt out and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we're back under. Here's my crankshaft pulley and here is the fending harmonic balancer comes right out as you can see it just completely separated okay so all we did here is rent a harmonic balancer puller from o'reilly's they carry these at all the auto parts stores these uh, these foot pullers and 
whatnot. They're really easy to do. The three hole puller, you put, you've got your bolts. Well, actually that one, that one's, that one was from Advance Auto. Their parts, they gave me the wrong thing. But this one over here, you put in the bolts into the threads of the harmonic balancer. And I'll show you once I take this off, I just put a cap on the end of this to get the piece out. Go ahead and turn to get the balancer out. Success. So this is the little piece that we put on the end of our harmonic balancer removal tool. Like I said, it's really easy to use. And here's our old harmonic balancer. And as you can see, this is a worst case scenario where the balancer actually separated. The rubber is nowhere to be found. However, we got it out. So on to the next thing. Okay, so we got this new one right here. We're gonna put some grease on it right quick. Now, the nice thing about these, it has a little insert right here, so you can't actually put these in wrong. That's the nice part about this. So here's how I'm reinstalling the new dampener slash harmonic balancer. Now, this one right here, as you might have seen if I showed you earlier, this one is a is a superseded part so if you can tell the pulley is actually attached to the dampener here uh, it's got several metal um it, it's actually attached it's actually attached to the harmonic balancer so excuse me this pollen's killing me so i've got a 17 millimeter on the end and I have a nut, if you can see it right here, this is a 32 millimeter nut. And this tool just came with a pulley installer or the harmonic balancer installer slash removal kit. And all I'm doing is I got my brother up here, he's holding this wrench and I am turning this nut. And this is turning, um, this, this is uh, pulling the harmonic balancer into place. And a lot of people will just use the crank bolt to do this. And I don't do that because I've heard horror stories of the threads being uh, being shot through using the crankshaft bolt. And that scares me, so I use the proper method. So here's the contraption that I got for installing the harmonic balancer. Like I said, it's fairly easy. And just in case you wanted to know, this thread size right here is three quarters by 16. And like I said, came in the pack. And then this is just a washer that you use. Well, I was using it as a washer, whatever, it's a rental. And this tool right here, it's fairly simple, straightforward. Okay, so now we got the bolt tightened back up. I just used my impact gun technically you're certainly supposed to do the torque spec specifically which i believe is 130 150 somewhere around there i just gave it a couple of ugga for about three or four seconds and did that do that at your own um at your own peril but i've been doing this for a while for engine of course for internal engine bolts you definitely want to do torque spec but for bolts like this, you just want to make sure that the harmonic balancer doesn't fall off. So I did a couple of Uggas. Do what you want. Now at this point, we're gonna throw back on the serpentine belt. Hey, all right. So now we put everything back together. We got the engine running. We're letting it sit at idle. As I mentioned earlier, we had to change the radiator as well. So. We're letting that sit and gonna check the coolant level, make sure that everything's in there. Gotta check the transmission fluid too. But as you can see, it's running really nice. It's not shaking like crazy anymore like it was before. No crazy loud noises. So, you 
know, I call this a big success, and I hope this video helped y'all out in changing your noise dampener slash harmonic balancer. And keep uh, subscribing, keep watching these videos, because I'm going to be pumping some more out here at A to Z Customs. Y'all have a good one.